Hi. There's quite a few things I need to talk about. I've tonight started um, a blog because I don't know, it just felt easier to to type. I'm not sure why that is. I know that I've been on here for a while and quite a few people in my life um, know about my dieting and they know about YouTube um, because it's been a huge part of my life and it was a huge, huge part of my weight loss um, back in 2007 and as a lot of you guys that still watch me you know you've seen me struggle in 2008 you've seen you've seen it not all be fantastic and not all work and um, you know those people in my life that I see on a daily basis or speak to you know they know it too and it's it's a lot to put out there you know it's it's a lot of Weight is such a, a sensitive subject. I think that's maybe been a lot of my hesitation in blogging about my frustration and my my non-successes <laughs> this year, well, in 2008. Somebody made a blog about resolutions and they talked about having balance. But when you have balance in your life, um, that's how you can make these changes stick. I think that it's, like we all know, that fad dieting doesn't work. Um, it, you have to make these life changes, you know, and carry them on into fruition once you've lost the bulk of weight. Weight loss can be just as addicting or addictive um, as anything else. And especially when you get obsessive about it and you have to get obsessed about it, if I'm honest. If you've got a lot of weight to lose, um, you know, you have to be obsessive about it if you want to really see it come off. Um, sometimes that obsession has, lasts for years um, to, to see a massive amount come off. When I saw my most amount of weight loss happen, it's when I didn't have balance in my life. I had moved home to Texas because my visa in England had run out. I just met the guy that I was dating at the time, a few months earlier. Um, I moved back in with my folks at the age of 23. It was hard having lived abroad and, you know, been very independent for five years. Um, moving back in with them and to a, a small town that I didn't grow up in. So I got a job as a nanny and my life was very regimented. Part of the deal was that I got a gym membership um, to a YMCA that had a child care center so I could go to the gym five days a week. I didn't because that wouldn't have been fair to the boys I was nannying. But, you know, I went two to three times a week with them. And then I had another gym membership that I'd actually got as soon as I moved home. I, it was a priority to me and it was, it was a 12-month contract. So I kept that as well. And I went there two to three times a week, and um, I was doing Weight Watchers, and I lost 60 pounds in 12 months, and I did it very healthily, and I felt, and I looked amazing, and I was really strong. I think I got down to um, about 170 pounds, and I'm five foot six, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you that there was so much muscle tone in me. It looked amazing because I hadn't just been dieting, I had been working. That wasn't balance. Okay, I, I didn't have a life, I didn't have friends, I didn't have a boyfriend or a husband that was near me. Well, I guess I thought that my life was balanced because I was able to have treat nights once a week um, after my weigh ins where I'd have some wine and. You know, I had my little, like, meal that I like to have to treat myself with and um, range from everything from just, like, Chinese food to pizza. And, and I could have this once a week and, um, you know, continually see healthy weight loss happen. And when I moved back to England and um, was doing it kind of, I guess, 
in a different country. I really struggled to regain the imbalance that I had in Texas. And I wasn't going to get it. And I'm never going to get that again. And I am grateful that I've had that experience because it's taught me that I am strong and I can do this. Um, and it's not impossible. But my life is different and it's going to look different. And I have... To the end of 2007 and all of 2008 has just been like two steps forward and three steps back. And to the point where now I can't even get on the scale and look at the number because I get so obsessed by it. And, um, you know, I'm doing these secret weigh-ins. And so many times I thought, this is so lame. And I should just be a grown-up and just face the music. Um... But I'm scared, and to be honest, like, I don't know what I weigh right now, and I don't know what the holidays did to me, I don't, I don't really know, and I guess I'm trying to see 2009 as a fresh start, and I need it, I really need it, more than I've needed a new year before, this one, I was just so desperate for it, I felt like there were so many areas of my life that were crying out for just some revision and renewal and um, I really am looking forward to this year and I don't know what all the answers are yet. Why can't I find that? Why can't I find that same drive for whatever my plan needs to be? So anyways, I've been, I've been calorie counting today. I've one successful day of calorie counting. My goal was to have 1200 calories today because I have I had very little exercise and it ended up being 1500 and yeah so I, I don't know anyways I've started a blog I don't know if I'm going to share it on here yet I may at some point um I, I'm not sure if you maybe if you want to read my blog if you want to know the crazy stuff going on up here shoot me a, a message and, and I'll send you a link but I really don't think I want to make it public um, just yet. I feel like I still need some element of privacy. Um, anyways, that's enough from me for now.